welcome back. So I'm rarely late, but I'm a few minutes late. I'm setting everything up. We're almost there. I just have a last, a few last minute things. I hope everyone is doing well on this Friday evening. I am in a very good mood. I cannot wait to play this game. I've been actually waiting to play it for like two weeks now. And I knew I wanted to either stream it. Give me a sec here. Okay. I knew I wanted to either stream it or um, do like some content on it. And since I play most of my games handheld, when I want to do content on a game, I sort of have to make sure to be um, in dock mode so that I can like film basically the gameplay. So that's why I've been waiting like two weeks to play this game. And apparently it's an excellent 2D platformer. Oh, okay, that is better. Sorry, getting everything set up. Normally I do this off camera before everything starts up. But uh, like I said, running a bit late this week. But I'm about to get settled in and we're about to start playing what should be a very, a very good 2D platformer that promises to be a 2D Mario Odyssey. That's a pretty bold claim. But when the developer sent me the, the review code, they said it's going to be like a 2D Mario Odyssey. <laughs> so let's just say they've set the bar a bit high on this one. A bit high. And you know what? Even if it doesn't turn out to be quite a Mario Odyssey, because I would surprise I would be surprised it's that good. Uh, apparently, from what I saw going around, it is nonetheless extremely good. And it's done in like a sort of classic style. So it's not like an it's not trying to be like an edgy platformer, or it's not trying to be like over the top like dark or gritty. It's like a happy-go-lucky just really well done and fun platformer hey what's up mr smiley how are you doing tonight hope you are doing well because like i said it's going to be a i i think tonight's going to be a really fun stream and um honestly i looked at the games that came out this week and there was nothing that was like screaming out to me that i had to play rather than this so uh, it actually felt pretty well because all week I'd actually wanted, like I said, to do a content piece on this. I unfortunately ran out of time because of my full time job. And so it sort of worked out tonight. Ah, First beer of the weekend is always the best beer of the weekend. Especially yesterday, we got some crap snow here, which pissed me off i'm just gonna say it that way it pissed me off like we had no snow left anywhere and yesterday they dropped like close to 10 centimeters of snow that's a shit ton of snow it's almost all melted away today it's like half gone but it was just so annoying to have that fall for a day okie doke let's get started we're not going to wait too long. We're going to jump straight in tonight. Um, options. We are in English. That is good. We want rumble. We want brightness. We want all this stuff. We are good. Okay. So let's jump in. Play file one. Let's go. I think I did the tutorial level when I got this game a few, like two to three weeks ago. I might have done the tutorial level on this one. If I did, we are going to have to play it again, because <laughs> I do not remember. Hey, Tagade, what's up? Oh, we did. I did do the tutorial level. Okay, so hold on. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's erase this. I do remember now when I saw the animations that... We're going to erase it. Yes. And we are going to start over from the beginning. Exactly. Those were the fans. Kissing kissing the ring. First time we meet up, 
which I should be going to PAX East next year. I'm working hard on going to PAX East next year. Um, you will be able to kiss the ring in person. <laughs> just jo I'm just joking. Okay, so we have fallen into water. This little octopus dude is coming to save us. We currently do not have any control. Oh, and we wake up in this uh, underground lair with our little octopus pal. I think I remember... Yes, I think I'm starting to remember the tutorial level. And I actually was impressed with the controls. Although it's not very long, it's like not even five minutes to get through the tutorial. Um, I remember I was impressed by the weight behind the movement. Because I, I was expecting the game to be very floaty. So the octopus is drawing us and him on the wall, holding hands, being all happy. We're in our pillow fort. Okay. And we are good to get going. So the animations of this game made me think that it was going to be very floaty. And what I was actually surprised, now I remember, is that there's actually a decent weight to the movement. So... And, oh yeah, these little signs are like the tutorials. So they're basically telling you what to do here. So we need to pick this up and we need to throw it at this and it's going to drop us. And that's it. We use the bad guys. So I imagine, I didn't get past the tutorial, so I imagine these are fake bad guys, and that eventually we're going to be using real bad guys. So basically, when you have a bad guy, by throwing it, it gives you um, propulsion or like a inertia to follow along. Oh yeah, this was... Oh yes, I remember. So if we if we hold Y, we... we roll oh dang we had to throw it down my bad hold on here i feel like i'm missing something i feel like a truck a truck ran over me what happened Ga what happened juan my gym routine changed yesterday and oh my god you're sore yeah that happens when you change like a gym routine especially if you're going hard uh that first that first day or though that first week when you do all the new muscle groups man it can be a killer so there we go so there it shows you that you can jump, grab it in the air, then throw. So it's it's just going through the basic motions. So a little bit of puzzly platforming here. And we are done. Woohoo! Tutorial level down. But yeah, honestly, the one thing that really surprised me so far about the game, and this is as far as I got, the controls are good. I was sort of expecting the controls to be floaty and not feel like good. It's hard to explain, but like not to feel like they have a weight behind them. Like if you've ever played a Mario game and then you play like a cheap 2D platformer, you see what the difference is. Is that M Mario feels like he has weight behind him. So that's why you feel like you're in control. And this game actually has the has a decent weight behind it. Not quite Mario level, but much better than a lot of other games. I'm not sure what they're trying to explain to us that the blue mushroom is this way. I'm assuming there's not. I'm assuming there it's like. Not actually telling us that we have to go that way. Oh, 
what's happening. The one where you teleport, where you throw your thing and you can teleport to it? Is that it, Juan? Or wait, I'm trying to remember how it works in Prince of Persia. Because I know there's like the one where you can teleport to a previous location. You can leave like a clone behind and then basically you teleport back to the clone or something like that. So that's like our evil self and it stole the gear. So we, we basically effed ourselves. But honestly, the animation behind this game as well, freaking beautiful. Really good. It, and by the way, this is the developer's first game ever, which why I was a little bit uh, surprised that it was actually like so far turning out to be pretty good. Because sometimes developers like it does take a couple of tries before you sort of like get that hit. Oh, no, there's the basketball. Oh, we need to do three hoops. Can we do a hoop with the bad guy? No, we can't. Oh, dang, we missed it that time. Come back here, ball. We can't do another one. Or I'm not precise enough. Hmm. Maybe we have to find other things to throw into it. Oh, we have to get the, uh, my bad. Oh, puzzle piece. There was a tree missing a puzzle piece somewhere right there. Okay, so I get why they're saying it's sort of a uh, Mario Odyssey. I think we're going to be collecting stars. So we're in a world and we have to complete these different mini activities. And that's actually what's gonna... Like, do you guys get what I mean? It's like a sort of Mario... Um, that's why they're comparing it to Mario Odyssey. It's because it's using that principle of like doing a bunch of mini games to uh, actually... Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to do this, then grab this dude, then do this, then grab here. There we go. You see what I mean? It, it's like it's like collecting the um, the moons. So we have to do we have to like collect it's like collecting the moons in Mario Odyssey. We need a minimum of moons to progress to the next area and they are all like mini puzzles. We need this dude. Come here. Oops, not high enough. Come here, bird, bird dude. That does not work, so we're going to have to find a way up there. The music's actually pretty fun too. It's simple, but it works with the gameplay. And there we go. Yeah. Honestly, I was and now I get the comparison that they were trying to make. So when they're comparing it, like although I find that this game is very quality, I don't think that when they were comparing it to Mario Odyssey, they were comparing it to the quality necessarily. I think they were comparing it to the fact that 
the principle is very similar. You're into after image right now, Mr. Smiley? I don't think I play that game. I'd have to check what it is. I, I need the vi I need the visual. I my memory is way too visual for a lot of stuff. Our our, our evil doppelganger is uh, f messing us up again, man. Yo, get back here. And we can't do shit. We can't do anything to him. Hmm. An arcade machine. So this is really to, like, regen, right? Yeah, it's probably just refills our hearts. That's going to bring us to a different world. Can we not play the arcade machine? Hold on. I just want to see something because there's a hook here. I think we're going to need a new ability. So I think we have to go into this world here because the pillows seem to be uh, portals. I'll check it. I'll check it out. I'll check a few visuals. I'd it, I'd be surprised because the sometimes at least the name would tell me a bit. It's on Switch or it's on something else. Uh, smiles. Okay, just came out. No, it came out last year. It came out last year. The April messed me up. Oh, it does look pretty good. I don't think I've had the chance of trying it. I might check it out, Smiles. I might check it out. I'm not sure I'll have time uh, before the next eShop deals. Because I already have like two, three games that I bought. I bought one terrible game. Well, terrible. Terribly. Like, not eShop deals quality. I bought... I, I wanted to try Hello Kitty Racing, the kart racer. Because I'm like, who knows? Maybe it could actually be semi decent. Whoops. I wanted to. I want to see if I can. Oh yeah, I can catch these. Can I do anything by throwing the cannonball? Because there's something down there. You see it, guys? That's why I'm wondering, like how, like there, there's a piece down there, like right below me. Peace down. Honestly, I'm really liking the game. I'm not gonna lie. I I was expecting to like it because I heard some good things, but I'm actually really liking it right now. Like liking it enough to probably play through the whole thing. <laughs> not maybe not tonight on stream, but like you know, some a lot of games when they're like in the middle, I do end up leaving sort of, you know, unfinished, unfortunately. Oh, okay, we can't leave. Oh, we can't catch those. There we go, another piece. I could have done that way, 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 way cleaner than that. But at least we got the piece. That's the important thing. I wonder, though, if it's like Mario where there's extra pieces. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I see what's up. 
characters like these. Number three. Doesn't it feel though like this world might have more than just three pieces? Because like there's there's a lot of unexplored parts. I do want to keep exploring a bit here before we go back. It's showing that below the lighthouse. I feel like there's something with that backdrop. Okay, so wherever... Promenade Lewis. What is this? Oh, so there are way more. Sandy Stroll inside the shipwreck under the village. 32160. Late to a rendezvous. A trial of the cannons. X marks the spots. Shorelines puzzling jigsaw piece and above the village. Like, I feel like there might be a... Ro oh, no, okay. I'm like, maybe there's like a secret... I don't know why it looked like maybe you could go in there, but I guess not. Oh, okay, wait. The thing is that way. We need a cannonball. Oh my god, we can throw him and catch him. That's crazy. Oh. Boom. Yes. We got the trick jump. Whoops. There we go. Ah! Ah! That was, that was, uh, that, that never happened, guys. That, that never happened. Hey, Frenchie Mom, how are you doing? Yes, TGIF. Honestly, I'm somewhat looking forward to a new Animal Crossing now. Because I started up my island again, and I've sort of, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to I'll get through everything like 2.0 has to offer. Uh... I'm sort of looking forward to what what do we have to do here? Whoops. I thought maybe we have to start like a race type thing. Oh, puzzle piece. Where was the puzzle piece missing? Where is the puzzle piece missing? Did we see a puzzle piece missing somewhere? Can we bring it to back over there? Yeah, we can. This is annoying because I don't remember where we saw the puzzle piece.
Oh, the puzzle piece goes there. Look. Boom. Puzzle piece. Throw this up there. Grab this. Boom. There we go. I will give you guys an island tour once I have the island uh, back, like, semi-okay. Because I actually, like, I have I started, like, what, 20 days ago? So I don't even have an upgraded um, Nook's Cranny yet. But I have a fully upgraded house. I have, like, everything unlocked like all the basic stuff unlocked um i'm still just working right now like i had to use a lot of my nook miles at the beginning to like visit islands and get the stuff i needed so that i could like get money quickly so now i'm finally investing like nook miles into like the the big iconic like items like the um i'm building like a boardwalk at the top with all the rides and stuff so once i'm a little bit through that i'll give you guys an island tour no problem and once i have the island a little bit better flowered because i'm i have to regrow my um my hybrids so uh i'm only like i only have like maybe four or five hybrids up and generally i don't decorate with very many flowers if they aren't hybrids so i do want to get a few more of those like i could give you guys a quick island tour right now but right now the island is shabby like Everyone has a fence. Oh man, I know what's gotta happen here. I've gotta beat him to the to the thing. Oh man, what the heck? I lost. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to put out that fire stuff to beat the penguin. Well, I'm effed. I can't beat him. The worst is I could have if I would have known how to deal with that fire stuff. Oh no, I have to wait here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna beat this guy this time. What the heck? That is so annoying. I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm supposed to put them out. I lost again. I hate you, penguin. I hate you. Hey, wild one. How you doing, my friend? Champ dancer. Welcome, guys. Man, I'm glad to see the whole crew here tonight. I wasn't sure how many people would show up for Probnat since it's not like a newer release. But uh, I'm glad everyone's here. And honestly, the game's turning out to be a really good one. So I do think that they, th this one might merit some extra content later down the road. This is what I had to do. New no! F you penguin F you It's actually very good Frenchy Mom. It's built off of like a uh, principle like uh, Mario Odyssey or even Mario 64, but it's 2D. You basically to go through the levels you have to like unlock moons or stars or whatever you want, but these are puzzle pieces. And uh, it is um, turning out to be really good. The, the controls are really fun. 
I'm just stuck. I just really am too hard headed and I really want to do this one. It is right now on sale for $19.99 and it is normally $24.99. Now this guy's going down. I have to just get the barrel out of the way. Oh, dang. F you. Bro. No! You know what? I think I have to roll. I think I have to roll. Hold on. We're going to have to get filled up because I took a few shots. I'm going to need to regen some health here. I'm going to need a hammock. There's one at the beginning of the level, if I'm not mistaken. I don't exactly know what happens when you die, but... You know what? I think I can... Yeah, I can roll. I think that's what I have to do. I'm not rolling, and rolling allows me to move a crap ton quicker. Okay, Penguin Dude is going down. Oh yeah, that was a secret. In your face, Penguin Dude. First time, first try. Now we also know that apparently there is a hidden one right here. Because this is X marks the spot, right? Oh, there we go. Because remember on the map, X marks the spot. That was it. There we go. How can I, can I see the ones I'm missing? Oh yeah, we see here. So we're 7 out of 12. Oh, but there's two that we can get in the 1, 2, 3, go. Late to a rendezvous, the trial of the cannons and above the village. He's going faster now, and I'm going slower because I'm sucking it up. Wow, he rocketed that time. Holy crap. Um, we're going to try it one more time just because I messed up a lot there. But after that, we are going to move on because I think uh, this one might be uh, a little unattainable right now at my current skill level. Oh my god. I almost made it though. We're going to do one more time. One more, one more, one more. Oh, I knew it. I knew I couldn't hit the... I'm like, I'm waiting every time for the cannonball. Ugh, I totally messed up there. Okay, we're going to move on. Or no, one more time. Uh, I'm, I'm too... I'm too I, I can't. No, I can't. One more time, one more time. 
That last one was too shitty there. I, I can't stop on a crappy time. That is insane. He is so freaking quick. Okay, we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. No, thank you. Oh, there was a hammock right here. I think we have enough though now. Like, I'm not sure I should go for completionist of these levels. I know that thing seems suspicious, but I can't see anything to do with it. That too seems suspicious. Yeah, there is a star up there. Hold on. Let's see if there's another way up there. Damn. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab him. Oh, there's a barrel. There's a barrel. Oh, but there was a star there. No, I grabbed that one. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. We have enough. Let's go see more worlds. I think it'll be more fun to see more worlds and try to complete like different challenges than to 100% like the same world. I want to see how diverse the different environments get. Oh yes, I do have the rest of my beer here. Good. Good stuff. Let's move on. So we're back here. I'm still sort of annoyed that we can't seem to play the arcade machine. three this time. Oh, okay, so I have to... I can't grab it with my boomerang for some reason. I like have to wait till it flies close enough for me to grab. Okay, this is a teleporter. There's this. That is not going to give us... Okay, so we can't grab them when they're whatever that is. Can we throw this guy at him? Yeah, we can. get up there. It 
Seriously, the movement is really satisfying. And that was so dumb. I went all the way up there. The movement is so satisfying and then I mess up. Like, this one is like one continuous long puzzle. So this one, we're going to have to jump this, grab him, do a double jump. We got it. We can do it. Woohoo. Honestly, like I said, the movement system is so simple. But it is so satisfying. It's insane. No, it really is. Uh, Matthew, you j this game is a true gem. I hope it gets more attention through the year. There are so many surprises and awesome design. Seriously, I totally agree. This this game is a true gem. Like, I'm already leaning towards like a nine-ish territory for an indie game. Like, this is like I'm really fun. And you know what? The comparison to a 2D like Mario Odyssey is, I would say, merited. Maybe not pure one, like, not pure uh, because it's like Nintendo first party quality. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Oh, I get it. Hold on. Oh, missed it. We have to double jump his butt. Ah, I'm doing it too early. Topaz, you can't get in front of the screen. Topaz, you can't get in front of the screen. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you, cat. Boom. Again. You want more? Boom. Down. Champ Dancer, do not try to give Topaz Pokemon commands. Um, you know what, Matthew, I, I am sort of leaning in that direction too. It could definitely, it is good enough that it could possibly be in the running for an indie game of the year. I, I Like, it is that fun so far. Now, I am still early into the game, so I don't want to go too, like, gaga over it yet. But if it keeps up the same level of originality throughout future levels, then I agree. The only thing is I hope it doesn't like get stale halfway through where we see a lot of like recycled puzzles. You know what I mean? That's like the only thing. Oh, now we can use the hooks. But how do I switch? Oh, it's just the same one. It just now can hook. Okay, good. We got our new ability. Uh, I'm going to get Dave, uh, Dave the Diver physical. I am going to buy the physical when it comes out. It is a game that is good enough that it is worth uh, having a physical for me to keep for years and years. I'm really waiting to see what happens with my Switch 1 collection to know whether the Switch 2 is going to be retro compatible or not. Because if the Switch 2 is not retro compatible... I'm going to do a cleanup of my, my collection. Uh, by cleanup, I mean I'm going to be keeping a lot of games, but I will be selling the more generic or less fun games. Like the games that I know I won't go want to, you know, the games I won't want to go back to in like 10 years, 
and I'm saying 10 years, but it could be five, it could be before that, but you get this, the idea is that if it's a game that I know I'm not going to one day want to go back to to play, I might liquidate um, depending on whether it's retro compatible. Because obviously if Switch 2 is retro compatible, I'll keep them all. But if they are not, I will uh, definitely, I think, start thinking of liquidating some. Oh, we're jumping into the painting. Okay. I don't get what we're supposed to be doing. Like, I get I can paint, but, like, is there an actual objective here? I get this is going to clean everything away. Okay, we're going to leave because I don't... Oh! Blue, pink, yellow. I have to recreate the same flower. So blue, pink at the top, yellow. Blue, pink, yellow. Hold on. Is that enough? There we go. That's actually a pretty fun one. Yeah, I know that it only has the first one. I'm going to have to get the Japanese to get the physical only in English. You're right. I, I know that. Yes, I saw the... Uh, I saw that. It's a download code for the second one. So it's like pointless and it's half price if you get it in Japan. Now we can actually go back down, eh? Because there were some that we couldn't get. Hey, Tony, my weeks actually went pretty well. Uh, very tiring because I'm doing like a... Um, I'm doing a different part of my job right now. That is... What is this trying to tell me? Oh. Interesting. So could we high jump this whole time and it just never told us the game? Okay, so this one's just this. It's showing you that if you drop, you can actually... Okay, so you can long... Ah, I did it the wrong direction.
I like this because these levels are like, like it's puzzles, but at the same time, it's a tutorial. go seriously the puzzle levels are going up it's becoming the puzzles are becoming better I, i'm liking this and it's so weird as all these mechanics we could actually do probably at the beginning of the game the game just hasn't taught us about them yet so right now if you start like a new game you can actually know that you can long jump which most likely would help me beat the the penguin i'm coming for you penguin so we're gonna have to go visit back this place because we there are still some that we're missing i don't know if i can beat them easily but i i most likely can do better i'm just gonna go look where the hooks are Actually, most likely, because I can skip all that. Oh, there's a puzzle piece up there. There's another one. Or no, that's the puzzle piece I took over there, right? Aha! Another one already? back up I want to go on the other side what is this man this game is getting really more and more surprising at almost every one of these little puzzles. How do I get out of it, though? Gade has donated $2. No, no pro tip today. You're doing just fine, Rick. Thank you for your trust. For once, I'm doing just fine. Can we go in the door? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. 
Okay, so th there really is like a zero gravity thing going here. Now, he seems to be hiding one of those pieces, right? Hold up here. Oh, I get it. I just get it. I just got it. How do we know which one is in the right order, though? Are there clues that I'm missing around the room? I guess it has to do with which planet is where. So I think I have to go back out and see which planet is where. And then come back and put them in the right order. Baby Shark and Bluey. Uh, this game actually, yeah, like honestly, Throbbing Cocker Spaniel, you're actually sort of getting the right time because this game could be a very... Okay, so Basketball is top... Okay, Basketball is top uh, right. Basketball top right. Sandcastle bottom right. Basketball, Sandcastle. Purple, down left. And Apple, top, top left. I think I got it. So, Basketball, Sandcastle. Well, these are all in the right place. Or did we actually move the planets around to this position? Oh, so it's not that simple because this is already where they are, but this is where they are now. So I think I actually moved the planets there by aligning them like that. But I guess I have to figure out where they actually go. Ah, that's it. That's, that's, that's what's up. Aha! One down. So, do if I change them place, do they? Is the exploration different? Is that the thing? Or is it just you need to place them to be able to explore them? Well, let's go see what this one has in store. I got it. I have to go down. It's sort of like a mini auto runner. I'm 
Boom. I think I would have... Uh, I think I know what I have to do. I can get to that door. I just have to redo it all. Yeah, and it still has its, like, moments of challenge. I don't think it's going to be, like, insanely difficult moments of challenge, but, like, it has its little moments, you know? Uh, okay. Hold on. Oh, the planet. We can jump on the planet. I didn't get that the planet gave us a second jump, possibly. So I think we have to get it on the way up. Hmm. Not sure. too late. Oh, actually, we can do this. I can time it, like, better. Okay, I didn't know we can actually do this. So good to know, because we, we, we need to do this. <laughs> okay, that changes the whole thing. No, no, no. Okay, why did... No, no, no. I don't think that all of these need to be done, though, uh, Throbbing Cocker Spaniel. Like, I'm trying to complete as many as I can, but this one I feel like was completely optional. Did you hear Apple is going to allow game emulation, though nothing like allowing for pirated games? 
Well, that's good that they allow for game emulation because Apple doesn't allow for anything. Uh, I'm, I'm not a huge Apple fan, guys, and I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to make any Apple fans angry. Everyone can love what they love. I just personally do not like Apple's... Like... I've had bad experiences. I'll just put it that way. I personally have had... I've had I've, I used to have a lot of Apple till about, I would say, like 13 years ago. And 13 years ago, a couple of things happened back to back with Apple products that I basically dropped the whole ecosystem and I said, I'm never going back. And I've been like an Android type person ever since. The last iPhone I had was an iPhone 3, just to be uh, clear. <laughs> Like 3G, whatever it was called in the third generation of iPhone. That was weird. It's just like the... Uh the um, weightlessness just kicked in all of a sudden. Now it kicked out again. Of course. Oh, okay, but we have weightlessness, so that's how I can get around. And this is, honestly, the level designs are insanely innovative. Like, although they're not overtly complex, the diversity is really, really surprising. Especially for, like, an indie game developer. I love these little puzzle uh, puzzle type. Honestly, I think I'm more a fan of the puzzle that in this one than I am of the... I'm a fan of both. But if I had to choose, I like better the puzzle parts that make your mind work than the ones that tr test your reflexes so far. I saved my butt there. I think I have to do it at the end of oh, just a little bit later. Oh, dang, I didn't get enough height there.
I have to go here. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, I get it. I have to pitch it. Okay. easy Woo. that's like we've got mega woohoo we've got like mega weightlessness got lucky there there's like a delay your boomerang actually has to travel back to you before it can travel forwards again oh I'm, I'm lucky to get two shots out of these there we go Made it. Made it. First try. First try. Whew. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, my brother is coming over this weekend and we are going to see Godzilla vs. Kong 2. I know everyone's saying the movie's bad. We do not care. We are kaiju fans. We are there to see big monsters beat the crap out of each other. So I can't wait. Oof. The actual, the arcade one-up cabinet, I'm super interested because it has battle toads in it. I'm not even interested for Killer Instinct is because it has Battletoads Arcade on it. I just saw a Cocker Spaniel we were say talking about the uh, the arcade one up. Oh, it's a boss. Honestly. Ah. Oh, no, 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 I needed to grab that. Dang it. I just messed up. We're going to have to do an extra cycle because of that. We're going to have to do two extra cycles because of that. We're going to have to do three extra cycles because of that. Oh my god, can I just pitch this like not like a dumbass? Whoa! 
boom, okay. Oh. Oh, dang it. Ah. Oh, dang. Uh. Ouch. We might die, guys. We're gonna have to use this to get over that. We can't hurt him on that other cycle. Ah, and I missed it. Dang. It's one hit, guys. Whoever gets hits the other first wins. Woo! Bring it. Bring it, crab dude. Oh, boom! I win. I win. Victory is mine. We're getting another little friend. Come, friendo. Come, friendo. Give me your power. It wasn't even close, Smiley. Not even close. Woo! Not even close. That was baby game. What are you going to teach me now? Oh, our evil self is peased. He's peased. He wants... The crab tried to refuse the offer. That's what happens to you when you refuse the offer. If you refuse the deals, you get the crab. That doesn't work. You turn it, you, you get what to happen to the crab. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense, but okay. We'll go with that. Now let's go to basketball town. Basketball! But dude, the, what I what's what I don't get is I get that we're exploring all these worlds and blah blah blah, but the doctor dude is totally hiding a freaking gold piece. We can see it in his shirt. Is it because I'm not? Is it because I'm not getting them in the basket? Is that it? Hold on. Let's see if the, we can actually score with these guys. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can score with them. We just actually have to get it into the top. By the way. I suck at basketball. It's like, if there's one sport that I am god-awful at, it is basketball. I am a short Latin man. There is no basketball genes in that. Almost. Come here, chicken dude. Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby. It's 
now that we explored all the worlds, can is the doctor gonna give up uh, his uh, his peace? Is he gonna accept that we deserve his uh, the one he's hiding? Because he's totally hiding one in his shirt. Totally. Look, he's totally hiding one in his shirt, right? I'm not crazy. Bro, give me your thing. I, I'll beat it out of you. Seriously. Here, take that. Give me your thing. I know that sounds weird. does this do does anyone see the solution to the problem here like can i remove this and put the thing can we put this up there oh yeah oh yeah that's it that be it Brought, ah, this brought us to another world. Whoops, not that way. No, we have to start over. Okay, we have to never touch the sides. Okay, I got it. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I'm, I think I'm going to have to stop using the D-pad for this. We need... Uh, Precision controls. Also, most likely gonna have to take it a little slower. Ah! Oops, that is not the way we need it. I made it way harder on myself. The worst is we're probably going to have to start all the way over from the beginning if we hit anything. So we are really going to try to not hit anything. Aha! Victory is mine! See ya, Tony. Have a great one, man. Woohoo! Oh, God. Now he better give me his 
freaking piece he's holding on to. Oh, is this another painting? It is. Uh, so green and green with four yellow stars. With three yellow stars, four. What the heck am I saying? I don't know if this is going to be close enough because that... Hold on. Boom. Let's see if it's close enough. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, Blue Fire is definitely worth it. Plus, all the DLCs to the game so far have been free, by the way. And there's been two major DLCs. You can even make your own challenge levels now. Like, you, you'll see in the game, there's these, like, sub-levels that are platforming challenges. And honestly, they, they are one of the biggest fun parts of the game if you like challenges. And one of the DLCs actually did, like, a Mario Maker like turned it into like sort of a mario maker like they they made its own like make your own challenge level and like those dlcs are free the developer is really like you can tell they're passionate about their game Now is he going to give it to me? Yo, dude. Give me your freaking thing. What am I not getting here? Are there other planets up there that we can stick on? Oh, there is. There's Earth. Okay. Can we stick on any others? Nope. Man, this is so inventive. Like, j Holy crap, Matthew. You are a genius. Well, you probably played the game already, but you are a genius. You, I didn't think that you could place a little man on the board. Come here. Come here, man, dude. Get on the board. Ah, that's how you get his little thing. Got it. Got it. Oh, I forgot about this dude. Get out of my face. Let's go to Earth. Dang, dang, dang. I had to not lose it.
No! 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 I hate you. I hate you. Urgh. Angry. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was so dumb. No. God dang it. I'm pressing down by mistake, but I just want to press, like, left, right. Oh my god, can you stop? Oh, it's ju I have to not hit jump. No, I have to hit jump. Go away. Why is it throwing... I'm hitting jump, and it's throwing the thing rather than just... There we go. Woo! And we can actually go up a whole level now. We actually have enough to go up a level. We don't actually need to keep collecting them. But honestly, it's just like Mario. It's so fun to collect them that I'm just addicted to collecting them now. I just want to get all of the ones I can. Dang, Matthew, are you are you by any chance like what like did you just play the game or are you like do you maybe work for the developer or something like that? Because you know, may, maybe it's just that you played a ton of the game already. I'm, I'm just wondering. No, and either way, you are welcome. If you, I just I'm just interested in knowing if you just played a ton of the game or. Because I think I've seen you in the chat before a few times, so I don't think you work for the developer. But I just... You played it. Okay, no problem. What? No! I fell off. I don't know. I didn't jump high enough to jump on his head, apparently. Is it still going to be the way I set it up. I think so. There we go. As easy as that. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. Yeah, and that's perfectly fine. My, I was just wondering, and like I said, I welcome if like developers like to come by and stuff. It, it happens from time to time. Uh, normally they say it though. They say like, you know, hey, I worked on this song for this game or something like that. So I was just wondering because you knew a lot about the game. Now, I'm not going to get the moon thing just because I want us to see different worlds. And we've been on this for a while and I've got about a half hour left to my streaming time. So... So I do want to keep going. Um, I, I do want to keep progressing through a few of the other worlds, maybe. Or at least we're going to try to get to this one. Maybe I can try to beat the penguin now that I've got some fancy moves. Come here, penguin dude. Oh no, I could have beat him. 
I could have beat him if I would have just pressed a jumping bu a jump button quicker. God dang you, penguin dude. Ah! If I didn't hit the guy. Ugh. gonna like penguin dab Woo! Woo! in your penguin face I almost didn't walk into the thing um I am a developer, but my games aren't usually on the Switch. PC, like uh, Steam and stuff. There's actually a hook here. Oh, we actually did this part. Yeah, we got to the spaceship. This, this is a different way for getting to the spaceship. Did we, how many do we have? We have a, a Sandy Stroll. We have 9 out of 12. We have light, Late to a Rendezvous and Trial of Cannons. Oops. I really don't see anything else here we can do. I'm going to go check the other side that we did earlier. Oh, Frenchie Mom with $2. Let's celebrate their 10th super on a live stream. Hey, you've now given 10 supers on a live stream, Frenchie Mom. Thank you so much. Very appreciated. And just as usual, eh, the... the, the um, the freaking donations are so slow. Wake up. It'll probably kick in. If not, I don't know if... I don't know if Tegades did, but we're going to refresh it just in case. And there we go. We, it woke it up. I just had to refresh. Thank you so much, Frenchie Mom. Uh, they aren't indie games, though. They don't need the attention you're giving to smaller games. Oh, so you develop for a bigger company. Interesting. Fun. And obviously, you don't need to say who, because I, I, I feel you don't want to necessarily say who, and that is 100% fine, by the way. Don't feel like you have to or whatever. That's We already got this one. That's why it's a balloon, right? I just want to look here. I don't think there's another one we can get here. I just want to make sure that there isn't one like... At the top with a hook. No. Okay. We got this one already. Oh my god, Matthew with a $20 donation. Enjoy Godzilla. Thank you so much, Matthew. You're paid for my ticket to Godzilla. Thank you so much, my man. That is so appreciated. 
Wow, that's a huge donation. I don't I don't often get $20. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go look down here-ish. We got that. I so feel that there's like a secret here, something. And that is the... I'm, I'm glad the notifications finally woke up, man. Nice stuff. Um, I so feel that there's something here. Like, look... I'm trying to look if, like, by moving the angle, we see something-ish. Eh. Eh. Let's mosey on along. Oh, there was a hook there, but it just might be random-ish. Yeah, that gets us back to where we were earlier. Like, there's one down here. I can see it. Like, right there. And what I'm wondering is... Is there a way for me to manipulate the cannonballs to be able to make it. I can't jump down here. Oh, dang, that is definitely not what I wanted to do. Ugh. Like, I feel like it's doable. I I'm just jumping maybe too early. Oh, man. Maybe if I throw my boomerang a little earlier after I throw the cannonball, I can maybe suspend in the air a bit. No. The boomerang lets you suspend, but not... I, I want to see how it works. Let me... Give me a sec. No, it doesn't really allow you... Maybe they're, we're just missing another ability. Or maybe we actually have another ability and we just haven't discovered it yet. Because we did unlock another friend dude. And we never got like a, a tutorial telling us what we can do. So we will move on. We have enough to go up another level. And we will go up another level and see some more of these amazing freaking levels. It is... I'm actually really amazed by this game. I'm not going to lie. Because I'm amazed that a game this good flew under the radar so hard. Like that, I think, is what's amazing me the most out of all of this. Is that a game this good actually flow, flew so hard under the radar. Like, I'm used to indie games flying under the radar every every now and then. But not a game this good, this hard. I still have three gears left. Like, I think we're ahead. By quite a bit. One, two, three. So we only need four more gears. Because we already have three.
Yeah, yeah, come here. You annoying dude. One, two, three. Oh, it's weird. The music stopped. I don't know if this is intentional or not. Hmm. Not sure what we do with that water. Okie doke, there we go, that is that, that is that. Let's just keep going on then. We do have a door there, I just want to check things out here first. Oh, there's another world here. So do we go for the door? I feel like, I feel like the music wasn't supposed to stop and I feel it's maybe like a little bug where the music actually stopped. If Switch Up reviewed it last month and gave it a pretty high score, good. But I mean, and I was like, Switch Up is a great channel. But what I mean when I say fly under the radar is like, this is the kind of game that even bigger YouTubers, like this is the kind of indie game that even bigger YouTubers should be giving it a lot of attention. Hold on. There we go. Okay. I have to hit jump at the end of it. I think my brother is getting here, guys. Because <laughs> my dog is going completely insane. No, 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 no. Ah! Uh, it, it like it, it like you see it. It didn't give me the forward motion there. Again, it stopped me. It didn't give me the forward motion. But I think it's me. I'm not timing my jump properly. I'm not timing the jump button properly. There we go. Yeah, my brother's here, guys. So I'm going to have to wrap this up in like the next like five to ten minutes, unfortunately, because since he's here, I can't really have my guest here and <laughs> stream downstairs. So I'm going to have to end it in about 10-ish minutes. Like, obviously, I can, you know, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm not going to leave you guys like right off, but... This is getting a little now, but I'm getting what they're explaining is that you can use the momentum from the things to. But this one's it. I find the side momentums are hard to get. Because it, it, it's really like it, 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 it seems to. I'm not getting the side momentums, and I don't know why. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to use the long jump. Oh, dang. I, w I was delayed on that. 
No, 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 I threw it the wrong direction, the boomerang. That was me. No! No, 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 no. I was spamming because I'm dumb. No, why am I why am I throwing it down? No. Oh my god. This this one is testing me a little more than the other ones have so far. No. At least we don't have lives or we don't actually take damage from these falls. There we go. I missed the momentum again. Oh my god, I almost managed that. Second too late there. Ah, oh, F you. I didn't know which way to go. <laughs> My five favorite games of all time. Oof, guy. There, there is way too many considerations there to do an all time. <laughs> I could name five amazing games that i don't think i could live like that i think have changed my, like my gaming path um throughout history like my gaming history but uh to say gaming of all time i would not but give me a two minutes to think about it see blue because that is a f always a fun question to get we just finished this challenge. We are going to end it on this challenge. I'm going to answer uh, C Blue's question. And then, unfortunately, I am going to have to go for tonight. I'm so sad because, honestly, at this point, I just want to keep playing this game, like, all night. Like, I just want to keep playing it all night if I could. But my blood, my brother's here. We're going to watch Roadhouse tonight, the, the Amazon Prime ex movie that's supposed to be pretty freaking good with an 80s vibe to it. And uh, then we are going to watch Godzilla Kong tomorrow. And uh, so a link to the past is on it. Uh, Legend of Zelda link to the past uh, to me made me fall completely in love with the top down action adventure genre. Uh, so for me, a link to the past is on it. Um, I, I'm going to try to throw in a couple of modern games that to me have really marked me as like an all time favorites. Uh, I would have to go with Mega Man X4, which uh, solidif like I always loved Mega Man, but X4 was like, no, I, I was crazy about Mega Man's before that, but I really got completely insanely crazy about X4. So and it like solidified the fact that I would be a Mega Man fan probably for the rest of my life. So I would say Mega Man X4. <sighs> this is such a tough question. Um... Super Mario World 
is probably a definitive platformer. And I know these are like the easy ones, but they're definitive for a reason. It's that they set up the standards for so many things. So I would say that my favorite Mario, like it's almost equal between Mario, Mario Brothers 3 and Super Mario World. But I give the edge to Super Mario World uh, just because it, it so solidified the power of the SNES back in the day. Mario Brothers 3 like solidified the sol like the greatness of the SNES, but it was already great. Super Mario World just set up the SNES to be like a powerhouse. In modern games, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and maybe a lot of people are going to disagree, but if we're talking about like my all-time amazing games, I'm going to put Cyber Shadow in there. Cyber Shadow for me was such a fun time. I think I, n I haven't... Like, I've crushed hard on Switch games since Cyber Shadow, but I don't think I've ever crushed as hard as I crushed on that game like i pure could not put it down till i finished it and it took me a while for some of the parts like it was a hard game and it took me a while so we're at four i have one left I know it's crazy that we don't have a physical for Cyber Shadow. I know, dude. I'm so scared that one day that game is no longer going to be available and it's going to be lost to time. And it is. it would be such a tragedy and a pain if that would happen. Um, but hopefully not. I am seriously debating because like one spot left. One spot left, and I feel it has to go to a beat em up. Because I have to try and think. Like, beat em ups were always a crazy genre that I've loved, and I'm so glad that they're like coming back in force. Like, Turtles in Time is like. You know, I think I'm going to go with Turtles in Time. Uh, I think t I'm going to go with Turtles in Time. Um, because I think it was the, like the, the arcade game and before that was good, but it, 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 it proved that you could make licensed games really good and be honest to the licensed material and the game could still turn out amazing. So obviously this list could be done in many different ways. So I went for like four, five games that to me, like solidified my gaming passage through time and i know i said i would throw in two modern games but i only threw in one because it's it's i think in 10 years the list is going to look different because i'm going to be looking back at what games from this era set things up differently than they ever were before and I'm maybe going to anger some people, but although Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom did amazing things, they are not my favorite Zelda games. Uh, and I know a lot of people would maybe put Tears of the Kingdom. And, and But I think in 10 years, looking back, it might become one of those revolutionary games, depending on what the gaming landscape turns out to be. I, I was thinking Shredder's Revenge, but... And I'm going to say something that a lot of people might disagree. I do think Shredder's Revenge is a superior game to Turtles in Time. Just because Turtles in Time, there's a little lack of content. Like, you know, there's an arcade mode and whatnot, but there's a lack of content. But I think that it's hard. It's hard. I'd have to think, like, it'd have to be a way longer thought process than, like, 10 minutes at the end of a stream. But hopefully that was nonetheless a fun little look at what I truly truly would enjoy his games and like final fantasy 7 is not even there and now i'm like final fantasy 7 it was probably what like to me was like 
transformed my RPG life. Oh, and Final Fantasy Tactics. Like, oh my god, it's way too hard. It's way too hard. We're gonna stop here because I'm gonna come out with like like and there's no fighting games on there i don't have any street fighter games so like right now my mind is going crazy <laughs> so we're gonna stop before i before i i start crying because there's too many games i know i know okay guys have a great evening thank you so much thank you for everyone for showing up to the stream definitely check out promenade guys this is a no joke as uh matthew said earlier contender for indie game of the year right now it's hard to think of a better indie game that came out this year true indie game we're still at the beginning of the year though still wiles to go but yeah it is 20 dollars right now 19.99 is 20 percent off and a uh, full price it is 24.99 but uh amazing game okay have a great evening everyone and as usual i hope i'll see all of you in my next video. Have a great one, guys. Have a great weekend.